So yeah, let's use the anti-ox suit. As you can see, it's daytime again. So we don't have to and we don't have to deal with all the sable guys and all the rikers. Mark your calendars, folks, because I'm gonna say something you thought you'd never hear. Spider-Man got it right. Does that mean I was wrong about him? Am I apologizing? Hell no. You see, I have it on good authority that he is a regular listener of this program. And now it makes a lot of sense. He heard what I said. He internalized it. And he learned, improved himself. And against all odds, he did the right thing. So Spider-Man, you're welcome. However, don't think I'm going to go easy on Spider-Man from here on out. I'll be watching, keeping him honest. Spider-Man, since I know you're listening, imagine my eyes on you everywhere you go. I mean, not like the shower, that would be weird. Or or the bathroom. Or Let's go to commercial. Folks, I'm hearing a lot of praise for Spider-Man lately, and I'm not saying it's entirely unwarranted. He did listen to me after all, and did the right thing in the end. But dial it back, will ya? I can tell it's going to his head. Look at it. The wisecracking. The grandstanding. Swinging around the city like he owns it. This is not his city. It's mine. I mean ours! It's going to his head. One thing even my detractors have to say about J. Jonah James. I admit when I'm wrong. And while I hoped his efforts in the recent crisis meant Spider-Man was finally becoming a responsible citizen, a mature adult, I am here to confess I was wrong. I wanted to believe. I hoped it was true, but even a stop clock is right twice a day, and I guess curing the plague was Spider-Man's stop clock moment. This suit has got to be the strangest one yet. Because <laughs> it, it is just so out of place, like every other suit is designed to be in this game, and this suit just doesn't at all. After much listener demand, today I am finally going to answer the question I have posed for many years. Spider-Man, threat or menace? <laughs> yes, that's right. It's time. I'm taking a position. And that position is... He's both! Sometimes he's a threatening Shocker. Menace, and sometimes he's a menacing threat. But come on! How can you menace someone without also being a threat? And, 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 and vice versa! And for those grammar Nazis among you who say I'm being redundant, it's called art! I'm a wordsmith! It's a rhetorical device! And if you don't like it, I'll tell you where you can shove that device. Okay, my intern is telling me it's time for my pills. We will be right back. Once again, a low-information member of Spider-Man's cult, sorry, fan club, wants to make him a saint. Sounds insane, but I always hear people out before passing judgment. Go ahead, caller. Yes, well, Spider-Man has been all over the city, stopping crime, large and small, helping people, doing good. Wrong, wrong, wrong! I thought you were going to hear me out. I've heard enough. Rational arguments are clearly lost on you, madam, but there may be hope for others out there, so let me go over it again. It is not helping when a vigilante leaps into the middle of a crime scene or emergency situation with no training, expertise, or public identity. What if he injures someone? Who holds him accountable? The answer, my friends, is me. Friends. You know about the Spider-Man related breakout at Rikers Island. Where are those escapees going now? To your neighborhood! Our next caller witnessed it personally. Please, tell us. I was just coming back from the store when a swarm of guys in prison jumpsuits came out of nowhere. Like a pack of wolves. Robbing, beating, looting. Lucky for us, Spider-Man took them down. Yes, well, you know how criminals are. Rival factions and all. He didn't want the competition. Competition? Spider-Man didn't steal anything. That you know of. Next caller! Thank you so much. I've expressed my concern with Sable International's heavy-handed tactics. Our next caller witnessed them firsthand. Tell us what happened. Uh, a bunch of 
rest of us were protesting stable, standing up for our rights like you always say, and suddenly they just start beating on people and arresting us for no reason. <laughs> this is always the risk of giving anyone too much power. They abuse it. Be aware that if you stand up to them, there may be consequences. It's up to you whether that's a risk worth taking. For me, clearly it is. The crazy thing was Spider-Man set us free. Yes, well that's what happens when the supposed authorities start breaking the law. Next to them, other lawbreakers don't seem so bad. Thanks for calling. We're out of time. Let's do it to it. Jonah. Police reports show a rash of break-ins recently. The victim of one of them is here with us now. What happened, ma'am? Well, my business was broken into. A flower shop. Who breaks into a flower shop? I was cleaned out. I, I couldn't believe it. I, I thought the area was safe. I see Spider-Man around all the time. My dear, you learned the hard way, the sad truth about Spider-Man. He only cares about the glory. Something as, forgive me, prosaic as a break-in and robbery is beneath his notice. Do not rely on him to keep your property safe. The only thing he truly values is his own massive ego. My loyal listeners have called in reports of Spider-Man recklessly vandalizing public works, smashing open power relay boxes and other structures relating to important public and private services. Some of you said it appears he's looking for something, but he never leaves with anything. My friends, I think it might be time to consider that Spider-Man might just be a few sprinkles short of a Sunday. Now that dressing up like a bug and swinging around the city is the behavior of a well-adjusted individual, but now, either he's looking for things that aren't there, meaning he's delusional, or he's venting uncontrollable rage. And either one of those possibilities means it's time to call the man in the white coats with big butterfly nets. That's still a thing, right, Jared? What do you mean it never was? 